Hello tacticians and strategists, welcome back to the ultimate general civil war. We are a fellow American and proud American general from the north, from the Union. Um, yeah, and it has been pretty good so far. So this uh, this emergency we came for, uh, we came for uh, went pretty well. Now we've got a ton of money and I did some thinking what to do. And I believe at this point it's probably best to take some more training. Yeah, because uh, this is the highest uh, factor. So if, you know, we, we had some while we had some gruesome losses, I'm not sure if we can actually keep up uh, getting the uh, the veterans, but it's, yeah. Here, take a look. So 1,000. We put it to 1,000, cost 7,000. And that's without the, uh, the I mean, uh, here, without any guns, any rifles. Um, Although, well, <laughs> it's just 2.5%. So actually, mm, 75, yeah, okay. So maybe it's actually better to get politics maybe first. Especially now that, uh, you know, like, let's check out. So this is Bull Run. Uh, maybe the last mission. So I think that, uh, like in every scenario, there are always several missions. And the last one is the one that pays most money. So maybe the last one is the one where we always take one point in politics. I think that's maybe the smartest. Oh, and by the way, uh, I read th the tip that actually it's good to check out this one before you do something. Because now we can see, okay, because we can go back to camp. Now we can see, okay, um, we can put in one core and up to 10 brigades yeah so that's the thing and we are a bit under strength actually at this point uh, although obviously like from the number of men you can't fill them up anyway um, so I guess it's better you know like to t to take uh, politics like for the last mission yeah always take it in for the last mission it's probably more money um, in the long run yeah let's just do it like this so our officer is wounded he's a real war hero the guy let's check out it's Adam Loomis yeah but he'll be fine now he'll get some proud scars that's the thing so Let's get the general. My idea is actually to take the general there. Yeah, for whatever. I'm, I'm not sure what kind of, uh, you know, advantage it is. But now we can put the uh, colonel there. And we actually have decently uh, qualified officers here. Um, so let's fill them up. So I want to go for veterans this time ah, and you can see so it's like 1500 or something i know for him it's more costly for whatever reason let's put it let's put it to 900 soldiers for now I've got yes, some sir. rifles oh it's stromers sorry i misspelled or misclicked stormers and what is he i forgot this one <laughs> So this is also Stormers 2. Yeah, because could we actually get some better rifle that is the, like this one? It's just 28. So it has 350 range. And if we do this, I want to have some more range as well. So and uh, yeah. Lawrence I mean we could it's just 10 points but if so I think uh, yeah it's so expensive these things I think it's better to uh, not waste them on like good 
but regular soldiers uh, but rather get the stuff when we have real elite troops later on so let's fill these guys uh, up further 900 so it's really costly For whatever reason, these guys are by far less expensive. I don't know why. Ah, do they have different rifles? No. No, well. So like this. And they've got level ups. We can get endurance which is nice i like it uh you know to have more stamina and stuff but i also think like the morale is probably uh more important so the guys are not uh you know breaking so quickly and um also good soldiers you know they always need discipline as the fundament that's basically the most important thing so and we've got some sh of these sharp models lying around let's use them Maybe going to 500. 500 horses. Veteran. That's pretty decent, I figure. And we've got some. We've got relatively plenty resources left. Let's use the guns we have. And maybe we should get another one of these, huh? Ah, so they suffered some losses. I mean, it's fairly expensive though. So let's first yes, sir. Let's put the guys there. Now let's rather get more soldiers. Let's bring, bring them all to 1000. And then we can see what kind of artillery we get. Because this mission is uh, an offensive mission. Ah, oh yeah, so they, these guys. So for them, the, the horses can also get uh, the morale, but I think they don't really need that. Stamina efficiency and mounted speed. So that's what I like. And foot speed, no. Their horses, yeah. So this is what w where we are. We've got three thousand and potentially two thousand two hundred recruits left. Maybe can we buy another one now? And like this with rookies, uh, it's significantly reducing their capabilities probably. No, no, let's not do it. Um, and the armory. So uh, it appears maybe like only during every theater they replenish the uh, the stock of the things they have for sale. So we can't buy this one. However, I would like to stock up on the real good gun. So this is also the howitzer. It uh, has like a tremendous. 23, 25, or oh, actually the howitzer is maybe like worse than the parrot actually. Ah, but it's a different type of gun of course. So this one is devastating, or uh, especially devastating uh, or from medium range. Yeah, we'll see, but I th I think we should stock up on this thing. Like, we are thinking long term. Yeah, so let's get one for the armory. We are not uh, using this one uh, soon, I fear, but I guess it's fine. So, and this is how we roll, I guess. 4,000 supply. Let's hope uh, it's enough, or maybe, like, count the rest of it in. 
Uh, well, there are 4,000 in there. Okay, so I guess it's fine. So, bull run. Sorry. Did I did I actually uh, allocate the the career point? I did, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So, sorry, guys. <laughs> it's like, did I leave the door open or is the dishwasher running or something? So, a lot of money to uh, to be received. So, several miles to the east, the Confederate Army of PGT Beauregard has deployed south of Bull Run River to guard Manassas. Railroad Junction from the other side, Brigadier General Irvin McDowell is leading the Union Army and is looking for a weak point to attack. The Confederate Army is stretched out to defend all possible river passages. Their left flank is vulnerable and, vulnerable and this is where the bulk uh, of the Union Army is going to attack. Yeah, the left flank, so it's like, oh yeah, so here, the blue. So this is the main and this will be the, the, the ruse. Uh, the faint attack. At first you are going to lead some of McDowell's troops in a decoy action at the stone bridge. Their mission will be to screen our primary flanking maneuvers through Sudley Ford. So it's probably this one. Next your army backed by McDowell's main force will launch a powerful attack from the west. Their main objective will be to surprise and quickly overwhelm Beauregard's left flank before Joseph E. Johnston's army army of the Shenandoah reinforces him. So that's very nice. So that we will, you know, we will crush them. The rebels are guarding the Manassas railroad junction with strong forces a few miles east of this location. So this railroad junction, so I don't really see any railroad, uh, railroads, but whatever. Bull Run, Bull Run River is defended by several CSA brigades and forcing our way through could be risky. It is advised to initiate a faint attack on this bridge with a small amount of regiments. Yeah. That's how we roll. Nice landscape with rolling hills. Ah oh yeah, so this is the railroad. Oh, it has seen better days. Our main force can pass the river here and attack the left flank of the Confederate army. Yeah. If we act fast, the rebels will have no time to reinforce the area and will be forced off the field. Then we will move east and deal the final blow. We can end the war today, General. Good luck. I fear he's too optimistic there. General, General, we are ready to execute our diversionary, diversionary attack on the stone bridge. There we go. Some rebel regiments are guarding the area. Advance with caution. Yeah, okay, so there was already uh, the, the entrenchment. In about an hour, our divisions will arrive and launch a full-scale attack on their flank. Until then, keep the rebels busy. Good luck, General. Okay, so it's, it's suicide to run here, to run over it. Yeah, so what do we have? Ah, yeah, so. Okay. So, we are going all like this, maybe, yeah? Do we have nodes? So let's go like this. So let's take a look at the landscape. So obviously this will result in heavy losses, whatever they have here. As it's a hill, they have a bonus. There will certainly be something here with firepower. And we are not wasting our men like this. But what do we see here? There's a fort. They will most likely have something here as well. But let's check it out, guys. Yeah, let's check it out. So, this is what we do. Everybody will detach their uh, skirmishers. Or let's do it like this, so. Skirmishers, they will go up there. They also go up there, look there, and they will go there, take a look. They will prepare for any assaults that are coming there from here. 
and from there we will pound anything that we will see and they will also like go here or maybe maybe go here and go there so and by the way before we do anything else uh, i'm just saving because then all the admin stuff uh, will be saved so bull run one and also i can't do like two hour to our 50 uh, mission so we'll need to take breaks be in between but that will be fine uh, yeah so and that's the thing so it's exciting let's see what's happening anybody I uh, saw so they rolling like this I uh, saw so. nothing here yet there oh yeah so uh-huh okay we're not engaging those guys oh yeah they are guarding the fort okay so in case someone is coming let's protect our flank very nice oh there we are so they've got Oh, they are shooting at our infantry. Oh, there are, there are horses coming in. Very nice. Just harassing them a little bit. So we are sitting there very nicely. Oh yeah, very nice. Run into the musket fire. Or maybe they should rather get back a bit oh yeah so and there are also infantry units there oh what do they do so come on shoot at the horses there their glitch okay let's go over here and take out the horses oh there's a poor horse on the ground let's go over the river so we'll keep this one here in case uh oh, we need to just suck up the damage i, I guess Yeah. Oh, by the way, so what kind of guns do they have? So this one is the six pounder. Ah, yeah, so they are both equ the the same units basically. Reconnaissance cavalry. Ah, we've got some. Okay, very nice. So they will go over here. So what we will do now is we will go over this fort. So we will just concentrate our fire action like on these guys a bit more. And then we will go through and these horses. They are annoying. Actually, so they are in range already. Oh, actually, the, the horses, they are coming back. Okay, so the horses are desperate. So let's hold fire. Come on. Very nice, a route. 
poor guys. We follow up with one more while they are in the water. They are very vulnerable there. No. Okay, so then let's get in there now. Now that your horses are out. running the rail is broken what's this oh so actually uh, oh yeah so I didn't look at the mini map so actually our guys are coming already and we are sitting like a duck alone Skirmishers do have a bad day. And now we are actually like charging them. Come on. Get in there. Get in there, guys. Oh, they are in, on a natural flanking position. Come on, then. Take them out. They are following up. Come on, now concentrate on these guys. Very nice, they can take them out. And the horses will actually... Take route, very nice, very nice indeed. Come on, you go in there as well. Come on, into the melee, please. Gentlemen, into the melee. They will just hold this position in case they come. Very nice, very nice indeed. skirmishers okay so let's go against them run away ah juicy wagon is waiting for us oh just a second so now we are here our general has lost half his health Let's fall back. Let's shoot at these guys. Let's detach skirmishers who will go like this. And when they are at it, check out what's going on here. They will detach skirmishers who will check out what's going here and co uh, uh, and will um, protect the flank. They will go there, or maybe uh, like this, protect this area. So while these guys will go here, and these guys will go here so that's the thing cavalry will wait there there's another 1000 coming up here or maybe they they will actually first detach skirmishers will come here and then engage like this 
they will come here also and engage like this. So and this one is following there. Very nice. That's our army. Oh, there's already someone coming. Who's this? It's Franklin. Ah, okay, so I guess they are marching up. So very nice. Let's attach them. So they are just waiting to be shot at or what? Come on, advance. Now oh, they will protect the flank. Okay, very nice. So this one, this area is free. There's artillery up there. Very nice, we're very nice. You think what I'm thinking, right? So they are preparing there, they will stop. Oh, they can shoot already, very nice. Come on, run. Split them. Fall back. Like this. And fall back. Ah, oh no, oh no, oh no. With them. Why are they there? Follow up, please. Gentlemen. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Come here and attack them. Next shot. Going on these guys. Oh, they are already broken. Like this. Oh, there's more stuff coming up. So where's our general there? Oh, it's, it's a pity that he already lost his... Uh, Shoot at them. Why don't you shoot? Very nice, very nice. Fall back. Oh, they lost two guys already. Shoot at them. Please, will you? So there are the skirmishers, so they come like so. Like so. They will come like so. Oh, there are a lot of people coming up, so let's divert the fire. They will actually, so they are broken, so they shoot at them, they shoot at them. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Oh, very nice situation. Oh, they are run down already. what's going on here so they are retreating very nice they will charge these guys cavalry can scout and they can actually make a quicker turn
Do they have the stamina? Yeah, let's do it. Let's take it. They circle around. So they take them. Artillery is taking Franklin. Very nice. Franklin will come here. Him. He will get there. So let's. Oh, they are very uh, experienced, these guys. Very nice. So now attack. Very nice. Flank them. And you guys fall back now. Time to fall back. Please flank them, please. What are you guys doing? Why do you take so long? Come on, fall back. Fall back. Oh, someone took our skirmishers hostage. Okay, they need to run. They also need to run. To shoot. They need to save these guys. They need to save the... So what's going on here? Ah, they, they have, they, let's get the wagon. So very nice, let's charge these. They will attack them. They will also attack them. Now they will attack here. They will shoot them and them. They will also shoot them. Let's hope uh, we are not too greedy with the wagon. Oh, I think, uh, guys, the uh, the time is pretty uh, far of progress. So I think this is a point where we can take a break. So uh, very nice. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this. Uh, development so far uh, I think it was pretty interesting actually uh, although I probably sh uh, need to use more uh, more the break yeah it's it's better uh, than especially with so many units you can't really do it uh, like in real time or at least I can't do it but it's very interesting and I really love this game I have to say just look at this very nice landscape and apparently, except for an, on some maps, slight, uh, slight, in, uh, slight inaccuracies, it's a very dynamic and very nice environment. If you see like these rolling hills here and the stuff. And uh, so it's a really good tactical game and also a good strategy game. So I really like it. So and I hope you do too and you enjoy the series. Uh, and if you do, please like the video i hope you have a nice day and see you hopefully next time and you are very welcome to sign up with the channel thank you and bye bye